years. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Tuesday, the 9th of April. We're looking at the Dow down 63 at 38,831. One of the reasons why we've remained short the Dow, uh, long term, long, we've got those long positions. We're not touching that at all. But as a trading vehicle, and there's no time on this as a short term trade, it could turn out to be longer term, but it, it, we're starting it off as a short term trade. At 39,889, the Dow on the 21st of March made an all-time high. It pulled back, and then it bounced, and it went like 20 points below. And I consider that to be the equivalent of a peak D. So I have a technique that's called Chapman methodology. We try to identify a buy signal that can get upgraded to a buy mode. And when that buy mode is in, in place, it should go to at least four higher peaks. Peak A is the first, peak B is the second, higher peak will be C, and then a higher peak over that will be D. It can even go E, F, and G. I've got techniques that say at D, other things can happen. But the most important thing right now is that that double top saw technicals that were fading. Look, yeah, the MACD and the stochastic, but that nine-period moving average was absolutely determined to hold until what was the last Thursday. We had the big smash to the downside over 500 points, and that turned it the line period moving average pink. Now, why do I make a big deal about this? Because this one technical indicator, um, look at this, from March, the th from November the 3rd, it, the line period moving average went positive, and this one indicator kept the Dow in a buy mode right up until this very moment when it turned pink. I mean, that's so it goes all the way to what date is that? That's on the 20, on the 4th of April. So you've gone from the 3rd of November to the 4th of April. I mean, that is, that's amazing, right? And now it's turned pink. So that to me says it's a signal, it's a sign, it's just, yeah, it's 30 stocks, but they're very important stocks. So let me do this, and I'm just going to see. Aha, we've got Garo in Newport Beach, California. Garo, how are you? How are you, sir? <laughs> uh, a little scratchy, but otherwise good. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. Uh, uh, Mr. Basil, if you have the time, if you look at K-O-L-D, uh, so K cold is a, is a re reverse of uh, is reverse of boil or U-N-G. Yes. Uh, I shorted that uh, last night uh, at the close of the market. Uh, because the 60 minute was showing uh, bear and uh, the daily chart was bear. <clears throat> the daily chart has a six uh, dot at the very top. Uh, today it dropped drastically. Uh, here uh, I have a question from you, sir. By looking at the uh, by looking at the uh, daily chart and the yes. weekly chart, yes. uh, do you do you think this will go down as? Hundred seventeen dollars and thirty two cents, which is at the high of the uh, December thirteenth, twenty three. Uh, the high of the December thirteenth, twenty three was hundred seventeen thirty two. And if you look at the weekly chart, uh, you will see that that price is right on the twenty one day simple moving average. I want to see that, and but of course uh, this is going to split. Uh, this stock is going to split two to one on uh, uh, the, on April of 11th. I mean, day after tomorrow, this is going to split in half. It's going to be around sixty dollars. So uh, this is another information. I'll, I'll, I'll listen to you, sir. So I, I also have a question for you. So the UNG will also split. It'll be uh, a reverse split. It'll be uh, going from fifteen to something uh, bigger than that. Is that? Do you no, know? Sir. No, UNG split uh, uh, for one to four reverse split on uh, January the twenty fourth. Uh, oh, no, this? I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, first of uh, uh, yeah, first uh, no, to, to one twenty four. Uh, on okay. uh, that split then. Yeah, no, it okay. was January the twenty fourth. Yeah, but no, K O L D will split two to one on April the eleventh. Uh, okay, so let's do this right now. 
What we're looking at here is that for the very first time since it crossed positive, KOLD, which is the, uh, let me just give you the exact title, it's the ProShares Ultra Short, <clears throat> there we go, uh, Bloomberg Natural Gas. Yes, sir. So this is an ETN property, so it's at 133.18, it's down 557. So you went short last night so you were short in the hundred uh what 139 140 area i shorted at 138.91 138.91 okay and it's now at 133.10 so the yes, nine sir. period move this is it yes, this is a daily chart and the daily chart has only now seen the nine period moving average cross under the 14 period moving average so let me go to the 120 minute chart because your question is basically because it's under that left side low of four days ago how deep do i think that this can go and the answer is i was actually looking at ung early very early this morning i can't remember this morning or last night and the ung which is the uh this is the one to I get, I think it's one to one. United States Natural Gas Fund um, yes, made sir. a peak, made a peak F, pull back sharply, and then uh, had another higher high. And it looks to me like this is actually a leg C. So let me just put this in the notation here so that you know exactly what I'm talking about. Because this will be kind of the root of what we're looking at. It's where this goes yes. that the other one is going to respond. That's the, at least yeah, we, have, we have to, so we have the choice. Sorry to cut yes. you short. I'm so sorry. My apology. B O I L is the double of that. If you want to is the double. It, yes. B O I L right. is the double, and K O L D is the double reverse. Yes, sir. Sorry to cut you short. No, no, that's good. So now what I'm looking at, I've got this as a leg C. I could make it an alternate account. I don't need to. I think the MACD is good. Stochastic is getting close to 80%. It's the 73% on balance volume is good. Uh, the nine period moving average for a few days now, that's one of the things I was looking at. Um, I didn't do any notation here, but I was looking at it and thinking, okay, that's a good sign uh, that you've got the uh, nine period moving average moving up. Uh, in the UNG. So now let's go back to the story. So on the UNG, the resistance that I'm looking at is in the daily chart, the high that was made, the little pop up, and then it failed on the 12th of March. And we know that failure has been the, the norm for UNG for a year and a half, a long time. Every time you thought it was going to rally, it just failed. So this high of the 12th of March of, that's at eight, uh, let me get this exactly right, 15, yeah, 15.20, and today's high is so far uh, 16.08. Is that correct? Am I right? Yes. No, 16.08 16, oh, yes. 16 is the high that was made on the 12th. So yes. we've just tagged that. So what you want yes. to see, I, w I would base it on the UNG because that's, uh, you know, where gas is going is where the, ultra short will go in in deference to the this, this strength. So, so far, it's a nice gap up. And normally, I don't have to tell you, you've probably watched this, almost every gap on the UNG, just a couple of rare ones back in February, failed, and they closed the day at the low of the day. So I'm going to get, if you don't mind, have you got time? I'd like to just go to my 10-minute chart because this... What happens over the next hour is going to be really important. So if you can hold on, we'll get there. Yes, okay. Yes, absolutely. Okay. We'll be back with Garo and Newport Beach. We're looking at uh, we're looking at uh, coal K O L T. That's the inverse of natural gas. Dow's down 25. S and P's up four. We'll be right. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi folks, we're back. So, Garrow, before I forget, what I wanted to say earlier on, and because I was so busy looking at the charts, is that the commodities are running. Natural gas is in a different category altogether, but if commodities run, they kind of grab all the others. And I think that natural gas is actually now, it has, I'm just saying it has the potential. This is the first time I'm looking at it and saying this move that we've just seen over the last day or so um, has the potential if uh, UNG is able to clear 1622, kind of get into the 1620s. Preferably today, not tomorrow. I'd like it to be today. If it does that, without taking out 1560 as key support, I think you've got something that can actually last. Um, let me just go back to this on the daily chart. Yeah, I think it can actually last a couple of days. And there's, and I know you know you you kind of get out of it at a certain point. You just say, okay, that's it, and you're out. But the way I'm looking at it, if you want to take some money off, take a little bit off now. But I would have a trading stop on this because the way it's looking, if it clears at 16, uh, let's call it 08, but let's call it 1612 area. If we can get into the 16 high teens and then get into the 20s, preferably today, but maybe tomorrow, then all of a sudden you're looking at a beautiful cup formation. And that's the exact inverse of your, your cold, which is looking at, I've got a cold right now, but this is a different, this is with a K. So, and also the day's young. If this S lasts through tomorrow, that'll be two days of the nine period moving average going under it. I think you've got some momentum to the downside. And that, that means you know, uh, natural gas for the first time can actually extend its rally. I hope that helps you. Yes, you're absolutely right. <clears throat> yeah, I see that UNG, the 50 day moving average is 1622. You're absolutely right. If, even if it ends there, that he has a lot of work to do. 
the five yes. day has to come and cross that 50 day. If the five day does not cross the 50 day, this rally is going to end up very fast. And this is going to roll down back again to $15. Which it it just keeps doing all the time. So I I would just say to you, um, I'd have I'd have, I do money management just like you do. I I at this particular point because it's had a very nice move. It's giving you a nice profit. I take a little bit off, but at the same time, the way it's acting with a and you've got your uh, SAR confirming. You've got for me the nine period moving average so far. Um, it it is in the daily in the hundred and twenty minute chart already quite established. Uh, now, it's gone with a dreaded H. So far, it's gone under the left side low. That's that pattern that we look at that says if in the arch formation, it fails at a peak A or a B and takes out the left side low and then closes two bars underneath that left side low, you can have a very sharp move to the downside. You can have almost a one-to-one -one extension. I don't know if that's the case here. That's a little exaggerated. But normally, you'd see like a one-to-one -one of the arch high to the base and that's uh you know that's 147 and i wouldn't put it that far you want to go one step at a time even as we speak i'm sure someone's going to try to uh, buy you in g but i i think the weight of evidence is saying that there's a chance that ung this time breaks a little bit to the upside mostly because of the commodities I hope that helps you yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I know. I'm. I'm not. I'm, I'm fine. I'm going. I'm going to listen to. You. I made already four thousand dollars on that KLD. day. Wow, I'm that's take great. Some off, and then I wait to see that what will happen, and I go accordingly. If I find any problem, I call you tomorrow, day after tomorrow. But I do thank you very much sir, for your knowledge and information. Have a well, nice thank day. Thank you for thank calling, you. and you have a great day, oh. and congratulations. You too, sir. So, oh, bye. so folks, I just want. Bye. I wanted to talk about. Um, so I just wanted to go through these quickly here. So Dow, uh, kind of fading, sort of coming back. It's only down 15 right now. Let me just have a cup of tea. There we go. Um, but the pattern itself, you see this arch formation? That's at a peak C1 and C2. What I was saying before I, I took a, a Garo's call is that a, a C2, just underneath the previous C1, acts like a D, and it can pull back very sharply. And if you get C1, C2, C3, because it just keeps making slightly lower highs, that says you're kind of using up your downside power, and you're probably going to make a big spike to a D and then come back down again. But that's not the case here. What is the case is that the MACD is very weak in the Dow. The stochastic... Uh, is down at 21%. I suspect that we're going to go to the t the single digits at some point. I don't, I'm not going to say soon, but I think in fairly short order, there's a chance that we can do that. That'll be a big deal. So I wanted to go through this just to show you how, how I'm looking at the market. S&P, <clears throat> um, holding well, but kind of running out of steam. Have a look at this chart on the left. You see this up channel, I took it out of the Dow because uh, I just, but th that's already gone through. But in this case, this is still an active channel. It's a look, it's right in the channel. It's holding very well. So as long as it's holding, that's fine. But my eye says that the technicals are starting to fail in the daily. That's the MACD, the relative strength, the gray line. Um, let me have another T. I hope I don't lose my voice. Uh-huh, good. And the 120-minute chart, you can see it's just stuck in a sideways range. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I'm coughing. And the pink night period moving average is still pink. It's not switching to green. So that just says be a little careful. The QQQ. <coughs> oh, I don't want to do this through the whole show. So let's hope I can stop that right now. Made a high of 449.34 about three, uh, three, four weeks ago, three weeks ago. And the peak D in the uh, weekly chart and all the technicals um, that count in the weekly chart are saying with that nine period moving average so high above the 14, it's going to be a whole process or a downside sudden smash that gets that green nine period moving average to go pink. So that's all very positive, even though it's at a peak D and peak D is where other things can happen. It's only a leg B in the monthly chart. So that's the QQQ looking out, still very strong. 
Short term starting to uh, show a little bit of deterioration, but that nine period moving average. Now, when you just go to this chart right here, because this is it, you've got to see it for real. Look, Q, Q, Q. Look how the price is going up, but the nine period moving average is pink, but very narrow. It means that, look, here you can see it. It could flip to green very quickly if the 441.85 right now changes to 440. What's the high today? 440. 3.24. If it goes to 4.44 by tomorrow this time, uh, let's make it after the Fed speak. Let's, sort of, let's say 2.30 tomorrow afternoon. If the QQ is up in the 4.46, 4.47 area, that's a good sign. But if they're down to the 4.37s, that pink is going to move, and you're going to forget that IWM, the Russell 2000, which is holding okay right now, up 85 cents. So here it is. That green is getting so close to the nine period moving average turning pink. Uh, it's just, but it's done it before. And then he had a big move up, but it's also using up too much time sideways. So that's the reason why I'm saying to subscribers, we're watching this very closely. I'm anticipating that we're going to add to the Dow short position to, uh, to uh, other indices or other stocks. In fact, there are a couple of stocks that I'm, I'm looking at that are starting to show deterioration. So I'm, I'm quite ready to, and on the short term, to look for some downside action. I'll be back in a moment, Dow's down 10. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technician's Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com.
Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, folks. We're back. So you're looking at the S SMH as a semiconductor index down $1.82 at $221.36 on the daily chart right here. You see that this on balance volume has given a couple of clues to turning down almost at the exact highs. And then, it, and then at the low, it gives a nice bounce. But that's not the issue. The issue is you see how big and red it was. Look, it was just a moment ago, an hour ago, it was green up at the top. And now you've got the the candle, big red candle, makes a high of 225.95, trading right now 221.22. I suspect that this is going to turn pink, and that means that the um, that the nine period moving average is giving its first. Look at this. I mean, it's hard to believe since a two day or one day reversal back in January the fifth and sixth, uh, fifth and eighth. It was a weekend, Monday, a Friday, Monday. That's the only time it's gone pink since it turned up. That was about the 6th, I think, yep, the 6th of November. So look at the nice spacing between the two. And this one's gone on for much longer. And you start to make lower highs and lower lows. I'm kind of, I, I'm looking at this and I'm suggesting to you that the the act of, uh, let's see, the Semiconductors lead markets up and down. They are the chip sector, and chips are the oil of the 21st century, the crude oil, that is. But look at this. NVIDIA has gone pink. This is the first time uh, it's gone pink since it went gre uh, gr green back on the 13th of December. So I'm, I'm respecting this, and I'm saying that I believe that we're in the process of making some kind of a top. I don't know yet what it is. I mean, if I look at some of the charts, look, every time you look at gold, you think, oh, I mean, come on, really, yeah, yeah. It's got to turn down. It's got to give you an opportunity to, to do something. Well, look at this. It's up $30 at 2381 So you don't always get signals to comport with your with your uh, anticipation, your, your own thinking. Because the price is the price. It doesn't know what you're thinking. It just does what it has to do. So if you look at the SMHs, you go one by one. Last night I went through, I mean, uh, 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 advanced micro devices, the yes, AMD. Um, it's been pink. That means it's been in sell mode for quite a while. It had a 227 uh, all time high. Um, and that immediately was followed with the round number 205. Now I talk about round numbers. Look at this. NVIDIA had a round number, all-time high of 974.00. You know, I, I've spoken about this, and I said, I, although I don't, I've never seen this, I've never, cal maybe I've seen it, but I've never calculated the numbers of round numbers that I've seen. Uh, this is the, the vast number. It's just, I, I've got them written all over. I don't want to go through them all. But all, what I do want to say is, I believe that it is hysterical buying. It's fear of missing out. I mean, why would you just say, I'm going to buy this at, just give it to me at, at, at uh, 1,000, what was that one? Uh, MSTR. Give it to me at 1,999.99. It was uh, around the number 2,000 by one penny. But that very day that uh, MicroStrategy made its all-time high, a leg D, <coughs> oh, cough, 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 in the daily, uh, sorry, in the monthly, a peak F, it was, became a, a peak F in the weekly chart. That peak D on the uh, beginning of April had the same day. It had opens at 1953.00. It had a 1999.99. I mean, how unusual is that? All time high. But that same day, it closed at 1942.00 as a round number low. And it's trading right now at 1401. I, I, this to me is it's really important. And that's why I'm saying I'm just, we're being careful. We have actually added to the long position today, but it's in the financial sector. And I think the financial sectors, 
especially one part of the financial sector, I think has the chance to be uh, kind of the underdog that just kind of holds. I don't know yet. We'll see. We've tried it before. We're going to try it again. And that's the way I'm looking at it. So just now I need to finish some other things that I had asked about. I was asked about Tesla. I think that Tesla trading right now up 3.88 at 176.95. I would never rule out Tesla as uh, a formidable force that has the capacity to do a lot of things that has nothing to do with the actual automobile itself. That has to do with energy, batteries, the whole thing. But on a purely chart basis, um, if at any point in the next week it closes under 165, it's at 176 right now, that's 11 points away. But if it closes under 175, I would not be surprised to see a one-to-one -to, -one to the downside uh, of the move that was just under, so it's called 184 to 161. So about a 20 point, so that says 175. Yeah, it could move to the 155 area quite quickly. And if you're looking at the weekly chart, this little cluster every other week looks like, oh, that's good, oh, that's bad, oh, that's good. But it's just stuck in a range, really, one, uh, 185 to the 160 area, it's just stuck. And the monthly chart, Nine, and all of them have nine period moving averages that are weak. The daily one is trying its best to turn green, but it hasn't yet. But if you're looking at the MACD and the stochastic, they are way under the unbalanced volume. So I think Tesla, although there could be these sudden surprises, a bit of news or whatever it is, the trajectory that I have is that it's making lower lows and lower highs, but it could start to form how it handles between 160 and 157, I'd actually say, is going to be really important over the next three to four weeks. And I think it's going to be challenging that level. So that was a question. Of what do I see for the upside? On a short-term basis, if whatever reason, as I say, they, this is a company that always comes out with sudden news. If it grows over 180, closes over 187, <clears throat> I think that's slightly different in timing. It means you could stall for a while before you come back down. But that 200 period moving average of 198 in the weekly chart has been such a formidable repellent zone, and it hasn't even got close to it. It hasn't even crossed the, the pink nine period moving average of 180. So I think it's a work that, that uh, it's a it's a chart pattern that says probably just going to be making lower highs and lower lows for a little while longer. All right. Next question came in. Uh, uh, let me just see if it is here. Yeah, bo uh, boil is two times natural gas. We're not looking at that. Basil, can you look at RTX? I hope I didn't skip anything, but this is from Tiger uh, YouTube. Yeah, RTX is, um, this is Raytheon. And Raytheon's the defense sector. It just made a high, uh, not an all-time high, but made a high yesterday in the 102 area, 102. 102.26. Straight down the dollar right now at 100. This is a very good thing to talk. I'll be back in a couple of weeks. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, 
you don't have to worry about that. As Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds for both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the fund involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, folks. We're back. And I had a question about Galaxy Digital. It's BRPHF trading at 9.7827, down 2.05. Trades of those extra numbers because... I guess it goes as an over-the-counter stock. It's uh, it just making making a peak D today. It made a peak E before, and then it pulled back in the daily chart uh, from the just over 11 to the uh, nine-ish area, and now it's just popped up to 12. And uh, yesterday and today, it's down to 9.78. I think it's going to test the nines. Uh, this is the cup formation. The right side is a little bit weaker than the left. Let me show you the technique that I use. Look at that. That. Uh, late April, uh, February high, and then the high yesterday. Look, the MACD was much weaker, the on-balance volume, <clears throat> very weak. The stochastic tried to get to 80% and then failed, it's pulling back, and it was way, way stronger there. And the nine period moving average was very strong. Now the nine period moving average is still very good. So I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to uh, dismiss that. What I am going to say is that the parallel move of the green and the black lines in the same trajectory down, whereas if the black, the 14 period moving average was holding steady sideways, just horizontal, but it's not, it's pulling back, tells me that there's a good chance that nine is going to be tested, but it's a leg F repelled at the 200 period moving average in the weekly chart. It hasn't even touched that level um, since way back in 2022, <clears throat> around about April or May. It went to the, uh, what is that, probably about 17 or so uh, before it tumbled down. <coughs> so, as I, it stands right now, this is the, th the fourth or fifth test of the 200 period moving average. It should come back to test that at some point, but right now it needs to pull back. And you can see 9.23 is the 14 period exponential moving average um, support level. It's not actually been there since it broke upside. On the ninth, the week of the ninth of February, and that was from eight point uh, six point seven five up into the uh, nines. So I think it's coming back, digesting some gains. Hope that helps you. Next question is uh, volatility index, the VIX index right now. I don't like it when the VIX index spirals higher. Um, just a day after some of the markets are making highs, well, some of them have been pulling back. That SMH has been pulling back for uh, a month. So right now, the Dow's down 281, the S&P's down 34. You've got a big green candle. Now, I always put the chap wave notation in the VIX index, but it is meaningless. I, I just do it because my eye says you just better do it. But in fact, it doesn't mean anything. It just, I look at price more than anything else. 
And it's interesting that so far we've had a number of E's and D's, uh, but uh, as I say, that's not the most important thing. That doesn't mean to say this is a peak C, there's a guarantee you're going to go to a D in the uh, volatility index. It does happen, but that's not the methodology that I use. This is the only index that I just say, forget about the Chapman wave notation, although I put it in. What's really important is that the velocity to the downside, and this is what I thought we'd get maybe tomorrow, the fact that it's happening today means that if you're down, let's just, let's just say for imagination, just here we go. At the end of the day, the Dow is actually where it is right now, down 264. S&P is down 32. And then tomorrow, there's really good news. What you've got to make up almost 300 points in the Dow. So getting the exact turn is really nice when you can do it. Fortunately for us with the, with the Dow, we've, we've had this position for a while, and we've had a lot of leeway because we timed it fairly well. However, within the context of uh, getting into different short areas right now, you have the risk that they could be – I mean, let, let me just do this. So the volatility index – Holding at 16.46, if it holds over 16 for the rest of the day, I think the selling pressure will remain. I'm not sure about the close yet. The higher the VIX goes, the, the greater the chances are <clears throat> they will get a much sharper decline at the end of the day. But look at this. The TLT is up 73 cents at 92.11. It made this arch formation. Let me just draw this in right now right here, 9201 was the last, was the low of February, mm, getting scratchy, just a minute, oh, did I even finish the, art, the, the uh, Raytheon, I, I don't think I even finished it, so it's a nice little bounce, this little cluster formation in the yields, uh, in the TLT, You'll see the same thing in the yields. Look, so here we are. I've made a peak E in the uh, ultra short Lehman 20 year Treasury bond ETF. But here's the issue the issue is that it is holding quite firmly over there. The nines over the 14, the MACD is good, the stochastics is 79, almost 80%. Uh, the the uh, blue on balance volume is good. So it's going to be what the Fed says and what the Fed does. And I don't see that the Fed can really talk about – I don't think they even want to mention the word lower rates. They'd rather be looking at what we're looking at. We're looking at data and so far this and so far that. So it seems to me – and now you've got the commodities going higher. I mean, you've got gold still up sharply, up how much? 14, coming back a little bit. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if gold is just getting ready for a little bit of a pullback, but it's easy to say. You could say that every single day and be wrong, but it is in leg D. D is where other things can happen. And D in the daily and D in the weekly and in, uh, B in the monthly. But look at silver. Uh, silver popped to 28.44. It's at 27.97 right now. Let me just check what kind of candle we're getting right there. Yeah, okay, a little skinny candle. We'll see what happens at the end of the day. It looks, I mean, visually, it looks overboard, right? The on-balance volume is extremely overboard. If buying keeps coming in, we're going to see good support uh, in the 26 to 25 area. So uh, we're looking at that. So this is what I'm saying. FCX just screamed even higher today. It went. There. You remember the other day I said... Uh, Freeport McMoran made a peak G slash C, and I suspect it will. Almost all of these that do the Chapman Wave instant restart eventually go from G slash C to a D, and then you've got to be careful. Well, lo and behold, there's your G slash C. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. This is the one I meant to do right there. There's the inside. All right, okay, okay, at D. So now you've got an instant restart. That means E slash A, F slash B, and I type in G slash C. I said the rule now is to always say G slash C when you get to a G. And there's your D. And that makes it a little bit vulnerable right now. Freeport Memorial, fantastic. All time high. Well, we'll see. Because it made a peak right here back in May of 2022, a high of 41.41. And today's high, well, let me just say, 
with a high of 40, 40, 41, 41.41. If you're trading at 50 right now, having hit 52.03, you are definitely making an all-time high. So that finally gets you to D, even though this is peak A, peak B. Um, yep, this is not just a C. That's That C gets re uh, it, inaugurated. It comes right back again. And now that becomes your D. You always want to be ahead of the game with the Chapman Wave notations. And there it is. So as it stands right now, I think the Fed is at a tough time. I've got a break coming up. I need it. Get my tea already. I'll be back in a few moments. Cars done. Yeah. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Yes, a question came about the signals that I had earlier on in the uh, 1 minute, 5 minutes, and 10 minute uh, E mini chart, SP. Yep, it gave you a peak here right at the high of 52.74, uh, I think it was 25 maybe, right there. Pulls back very sharply. That was a peak G. And I put in the arch formation with the test of the 200 period moving average, which it did. And now it's way below it. Same thing at a peak D in the five, 10 minute chart. So that, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that, that's a nice turnaround. But the most important thing, what we're looking at here, as we wrap up, I want to just show you this. Look, the SMHs, and to me, it's absolutely key. SMHs are really kind of the, the, the bellwether. The, these are the guys, this is the, what do they call that? The, 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 the ship that, the icebreaker, right? So if in fact, the semis 
start to pull back and you get by tomorrow or the next day that nine period moving average turning down and look you've already got it i mentioned it i showed it just now in video with a round number high here it is down sharply down 40 points uh, i think we've got something going on here that is a little bit of a surprise to the people that uh are considering that <clears throat> this is a bull market that will have no pullbacks and just keep going to higher highs. I think this is a breather, a very important breather. So let's just get that out of the way. The other thing is, look at how what happens now with the TLT is going to be very important because it looks to me like just from the chart formation, I think the yields are going to have a tough time really going much lower. They might just stabilize sideways, but this is going to be very important. So what happens tomorrow at 2.30 uh, or 3 o'clock is going to be very important for economic news-related things, as well as just purely technical chart patterns. So the upside, I think, is kind of limited just at this particular point. You've got to be careful. So as I say, we did add something today, but we've done it in a very specific way. We're raising, raising stops on, on the long positions. Um, be careful. That's all. Simple. Just be careful. Don't go crazy. Just be careful. Have a wonderful rest of the day. I'll be back with Tom a little later on. Stay tuned for Steve Rose and all the great programming. See you in a moment.